In this tutorial, we're going to build an Immelman loop. And we're start off like before, 25 meters per second at initial speed. Initial normal force of 3.5 Gs. And we'll lower the track so it's 5 meters off the ground. And since this track or this type of element is normally performed on an inverted coaster, we'll change the heartline value to minus 1.1. So this is what we have so far. Let me turn on the shadows so we can see where the ground is better. And of course, since this is a looping element, we want to use the quaternion orientation. Uh, the first section will be a single zone. And I always like to, to end with the pitch between 30 and, and 40 degrees. So this is about 36 degrees, that's in the right ballpark. And then we're going to add a new section. And then we're going to switch to multi-zone. It'll be multi-zone uh, force from here on out. Again, we want to switch to quaternion. And we're going to use uh, multiple normal and roll zones, but we're not going to use uh, lateral zones. We'll go ahead and lock the lateral zone. And for the time being, we're going to lock the roll zone uh, so we can build up our, uh, the normal profile first. So we'll start with uh, uh, a minus 3G transition and we'll make it, let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, look something like this, maybe a little bit shorter. Then we're going to add another uh, normal section. And this section, this uh, middle section, we're not going to change the, the normal value at all. So it's going to stay at a, a half of a G throughout this part. But we're going to make it a little bit shorter. Uh, that looks all right. And then we'll add the final normal zone. And then we'll increase uh, the G's by two and a half, so that it ends uh, at the end of the element will end at three G's. So let me turn on uh, the visual fins. We're displaying the the force at each point along the track, and you see the force starts at three and a half G's. As we rotate up uh, at the apex, it's about a half of a G, and this is where the turn will be performed uh, in the loop and then it ends at about 3 G's. So now let me unlock the roll uh, subzones and now we're going to click uh, the, the only roll subzone that we have and that will activate uh, the slider so now you see the slider has turned blue indicating that this will now adjust uh, the roll uh, subzone. So we're going to bring this back uh, to just before uh, the top of the loop, and this is where we'll start our our roll. So the first point eight five seconds of this element or this section, we're not going to roll at all. Um, and then for the remainder of it, of the element. I'm going to go ahead and lock the roll now and you'll see that it automatically adjusts the size. Uh, we're going to rotate by about 150 degrees or minus 150 degrees like this and finally we're going to increase the length of this final normal zone to about one and a half seconds. And that's it. There you have it. Now I've already pre-made uh, this element and we can write it in the, the editor and you'll we'll see how it goes.
and it looks pretty good. So if you want to create a dive loop, I'm not going to do it uh, for you, but it's just an implement in reverse. So you'll just uh, go through the same sort of, of profile, uh, roll and normal profile, but just do it in reverse, and that will get you a dive loop.